final part of this interview. Um, can you tell our readers your name and a little bit about yourself? Sure. My name is Sandra Dustin, and I am the executive uh, event producer as well as the founder of Boston Kirby Fashion Week and the owner of Your Design Dream. I create um, community-based events, and I try to create events that will cause social change. Okay, okay. So, um, next question. Can you tell us about your company, Your Desired Dream event production company? Awesome. Um, your Desired Dream is uh, something that I grew to grew into. I started um, as trying to get in the legal legal field. Uh, went to school at uh, uh, undergrad at Poli Sci and, and decided to, you know, switch my major into um, sociology. Um, but throughout my life, I've been an organizer. I've been a planner. And I really uh, fell in love with creating events and um, seeing people come together and be happy and be doing together um, and having so, uh, I was in the corporate world for a while and I was working um, at the policy lab. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to really focus on what it is that I love to do. And I felt that um, doing something that I love to do creates uh, space for other people to just be in a good space, if that makes any sense. So that's how I got into Your Desired Dream and... Um, basically an event planning company specializes in social events. So um, weddings, graduation, and recently, well, recently, um, I did a fashion event for a public line, and she was in the industry, and I said, you know what? Um, I see that it, uh, the industry is lacking uh, in Massachusetts. It's lacking uh, plus size of that. And uh, so I, I spoke to my, my colleague and I said, what if I, I uh, she said, yeah, sure, that sounds great, so here we are. Okay, well, <laughs> well, it, it has to be fun, I'm sure, to create event, events for different people. Um, you said you do weddings and things of that nature as well? Yes, I've done weddings, I've done um, graduation, I've done, uh, I've done fundraisers. I have also done, um, trying to think, what, what is it that I've done? I've done so, uh, uh, I've worked with other organizations and businesses. And so I've done um, events for uh, businesses and, um, uh, yeah, just local organizations here in Boston. Okay, so um, what made you want to put together a curvy, curvy fashion event? Well, um, what I, I noticed that there wasn't any um, curvy fashion events here in Boston. And uh, the few events that I did attend, uh, women uh, came out and supported. And the common uh, census was that they wanted more. And uh, the plus size industry here in Massachusetts, um, let alone New England, is uh, we, there's a lot of women who are plus size. And they want... Uh, and they want uh, wonderful quality clothes. And one, they may not know where to go, and two, um, they might not have the, the experience to, to be able to network with other women who are curvy and plus size. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I felt the need. We need, definitely need this here. And I'm also a plus size woman my son, so I know we need it on, on a, a personal level as well. Right, and I can understand that um, as well as as myself, I'm also plus size, so that uh, makes me feel yeah. good, you know, to bring events like this for for the the thicker women to to the forefront. Exactly, exactly, yes. Okay, so um, can you tell us some of the events that are going to be taking place during Boston Curvy Fashion Week? Sure, um, Boston Curvy Fashion Week is a it's going to be a, a place for a uh, woman size as well but, um, to, uh, you know, see the latest trends in fashion. But we also, here at Boston Curb Fashion Week, also are going to cater uh, women who are interested in 
maintaining their curve and keeping their curve, um, and, and knowing the importance of keeping their curve healthy. So we have a health uh, portion and we have a healthy curve ambassador. Um, and the other thing that we are also incorporating going Boston Curve nationally is we're giving um, the school the resources to uh, business owners in the fashion industry so that their, their business can work smart, smarter. Uh, Boston is one of uh, the biggest uh, startup company locations here in Boston. So that's a little bit about Boston Curvy. So uh, some of the events that we're going to be having, um, we're having a Curvy Expo where we're going to have speakers and workshops catering to those areas, the health um, business and, of course, fashion having a runway show on Saturday, July 20th, um, having a runway show. We have um, something called the Curvy Night Experience, where it's going to be just a great um, evening of networking. Women will be able to shop. There will be cocktails, as well as great music, and just a great time to just meet other curvy, beautiful women. Um, we're also having uh, Zumba at the park where, again, health is um, really important to me and uh, Boston Curry Fashion Week Committee. So we're also going to be having um, a Zumba at the Park, which will be fun. Um, we have a swapping event where um, women can come in um, with a more of a vintage feel where they can come in and swap and there's going to be a styling demonstration. The great thing about that event is women will also be um, we'll also have the opportunity to donate to Go Dress for Success here in Boston. Um, I've been in that organization and I've worked with them closely. And I, they, they're always in the need of good um, plus size clothing. People donate to them all the time. It, they seem to lack, and, and I want to be able to cater to those women um, going to an organization like that. So we're going to be donating some of the clothes that we get during our swap swapping event. Also, uh, we're going to be donating some proceeds uh, at our runway show as well. So those are a few of the events that are happening um, during Boston Kirby Fashion Week. Okay, those that sounds like a great time. I wish we could be yeah. a, I wish we could be there. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let me ask you, why do you think um, it's important for the fashion industry to bring more recognition to plus size models and fashion. Because we're here. That's <laughs> um, right. <laughs> so we're, we're here, and it's, it's, we're not going anywhere. Here. Um, and we we know that the industry needs to recognize the plus size uh, models because they're they're initially a representation of us. And the other thing that I I, I so like, cause I'm not from the, uh, the fashion industry, so this is all new to me. But what I'm realizing is um, even the plus size models have a set um, look. And um, it's not, you know, it needs to be a, a bit more um, open to what, what the women, the natural, not the natural look, but the, what the women um, actually look like. So we, so what I would hope uh, for this event will be to open uh, the models uh, or the, let's just say the plus-size fashion industry to include uh, more models such as Tess uh, and um, include a more a larger range of models uh, in the event industry. So this event like this, not only mine, but every other event like this uh, will help that um, to, you know, that, so that we can have more stuff to the stores. Because like I said, we're here and we need we need this. That's right. Because now, you know, nowadays I see a lot more um, fashionable pieces for plus size women. When, you know, back in the day you could, uh, the only thing they had was those big, huge dresses and oh, ugly man. designs. <laughs> it was horrible. I hate it. Right. I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, after 
Boston Curvy Fashion Week is done and everything settles down, have you thought um, or put in any consideration into producing other um, fashion weeks in different states? Um, yeah, I, I have thought about that. I, this year we really want to focus uh, regionally. So mm -hmm. We have thought about um, um, spreading it and, and possibly doing other New England states. But for now, we're just going to focus on our little, uh, it's a little big, um, a little big uh, Boston that we have over here. But we have thought about it because, again, there's a need and, and women want it, want uh, events like this to happen. Exactly. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Um, so, um, how can our readers get more information on the Fashion Week and as well as your company? How can they contact you if they want to use your company for their events? Yeah, well, they can contact me. Um, they want to use me as their event uh, planner. They can go to my website, yourdesiredream.com. In terms of Boston Curve Fashion Week, if they want any additional information, they can definitely go to bostoncurvyfashionweek.com or um, we have a great, great um, social media director that handles all our social media. If you want to go on our Instagram page, Facebook, Facebook page, and just shoot us an uh, email or um, a message, we definitely will respond to you guys. So that's a great way for people to um, you know, get to know more information or to contact them. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate you, ladies. Thank you so much.